in this video i will demonstrate how to set it up a real hidden service in the amazon cloud so even though we set it up in the amazon cloud so it is a hidden service so no one will find it out our service ip right to do the demo i uh, up uh, deployed ubuntu micro t2 instance in the amazon cloud it's up and running so you see it's a public address of that here uh, this and the security you need to open 950 80 and 22 volts to this is for search to the instance this is to running the hdp maybe you don't need it actually we, we need this 950 open perhaps you open these three ports so that's much better right so you were simple ubuntu instance survey straight so you can then access to that uh, instance using your public key actually this is the command usually used to log into such instance so i will log to that so this is a server instance running on the cloud right. so i have given some scripts in my GitHub, Zundizoiza at GitHub. I have created some scripts where you can use to run this uh, service. So, what you should do, you just clone uh, this instance to your freshly started uh, Ubuntu. Uh, server using git node. So it's clone the directory structure here. So you go to the directory called to where I have necessary files. It has a docker file and the docker compose file where you can use to set it up that instance. The HTML file directory is the place where you should store your hidden service content it is a document root, basically you can put your web server content or php files or whatever under this html in the two rc directory i am putting here has the default to configuration file when you have a look on this default configuration file, you may see I have uh, by default set it up uh, uh, the tow uh, hidden service here. This is service, my service directory is etc local etc tow. That is, I map to the host machine, and this is hidden service run on the port 80 so on the tow web one is the service and it mapped to the port 80 okay so this is how we configure this top file it's default you don't need to do any changes here you can use as it is because i'm running it on the top so it had so when I run in the first time, the keys will be created and saved in this directory. Because of that, I need to kind of set the permissions. I change the uh, permissions to uh, seven 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 zero zero to two RC directory and. I have given all the steps here as well. So maybe I need to change the ownership 
of the directory since I'm running uh, toe here as root. So then this toe RC directory should own by the root. So I change it to root. Uh, in order to do that, I need the root permission. So after that, so what you have to do is you have to build the Docker containers. And so that maybe I will show you the JIT. Uh, there is a Docker file I have created. Docker file I have created. So there, you see, I install, get the basic latest version of Ubuntu, update it, and install the toy, this doc. And entry point is the top to this doc, Docker image. So then I have, sorry, then I have uh, a Docker Compose file created where I set it up two services. First is the web service. So in the web service uses HTTPD Apache 2.4 instance. And in using the volume parameter, I map the Apache document root directory into my local HTML directory in the host system. That's why I can put my web content into this HTML port. Then I am running the tow container. So for that I build that container using this docker file I, which I show you previously and I map this port 950 into the local host. That is the default port of the tow proxy. And then I map the tow configuration of the docker image that is user local etc tow into my current directory to rc so and put the i have already put the configuration files to that directory as you may notice here in the to rc directory which i show you so then the a docker uh, container will automatically see that so then what you have to do is follow these uh, simple steps which i mentioned here so we clone the directory and then we change the permission uh, we change to the directory change the permission and change the ownership so then we run the docker compose uh, build command to build the docker image uh, so it need a uh, sudo. So it automatically uh, built the image. Uh, after that, uh, you need to run the Docker Compose app to up this hidden service. So I will log into same instance using the simple script I have created here. So here you see when I run this Docker Compose, it automatically up the uh, HTTPD web server plus uh, the Docker uh, host to to content both both services it's up and running now. So now I'm the different from time and the same server go to the tor you see uh, to rc directory which store the configuration you should do sudo uh, uh, to rc directory so you see the files are created so this is the configuration file it was there before. And when I run the tool and up the tool of a 
uh, compose up command and up the containers. So you see there are two files created. This is the elliptical public key. This is the elliptical private key. And you can see them, I guess. Uh, so it's binary format. And uh, similarly, this is the elliptical private key anyway. Those are in binary format. So if you want to see the address, so you go to this. So this is the address of my hidden service. So you, you anyone can reach that now through the anyone can now reach that web service. Uh, web service through that post address. So this is the address. Maybe I copy that. Okay, and go to the Tor browser and place this address in service onion address. It will, you see, it's reached to this instance and loads my hidden service. So you can let that server running on the cloud and publish your hidden service address to the world. So then people can reach your hidden service using this address. So you see when my browser visit that hidden service, it goes through Sweden, Germany, Germany. This is my exit point from the browser. It's a handoff point. And then my hidden service establisher circuit. This is entry, gate node, relay, and the exit relay of the hidden service. So then this two wheel bridges, as I explained in my lectures. So you see our website is up and running. So if you want to change the content, you can change it. Uh, the content of this uh, HTML folder, where this is the local folder. So you see there is a file in the local folder. So let's say you want to share this file to the world as a hidden file. So people have no idea about where these files come from. So you, you can load it dot on here and give the file name. So this file will be loaded. So this is to configuration file I put it as here. So this address slash file name I can give it and share it for the interesting parties using that in service they can get that file, but they have no idea about it. the person who is hosting it, because this is only an address, in service web address. So you can change the content in this uh, HTML directory as well, if you wish, uh, to index files and whatever content you can put it there. And you are running real hidden service to the world. So that's it. Uh, so you are feel free to use the scripts which I created. It helps you to up and run a two hidden service in a minute without any hassle. Thank you very much for listening.